Good morning, my brothers and sisters. It is Wednesday of the 11th week of Ordinary Time. A common saying is, what you give is what you get. And I think this is so true in the spiritual life. As St. Paul says in the first reading, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. In my own life, how have I seen this uh, come into play? So when I was younger, it was all about me. I wanted to be a millionaire. I wanted to become famous. You know, those four substitutes for God, I want to be uh, honor, power, pleasure, and wealth. That's what I wanted out of life. So I thought those things would make me happy. And as I came to know the Lord Jesus, as I came to realize that, wow, every gift that he has given me, including baseball, <laughs> is a gift that's meant to uh, be given away. It's meant for others. Uh, baseball now is a means to help people come to know the Lord. And so, you know, instead of wanting honor, power, pleasure, and wealth, uh, I want nothing more than to deepen my relationship with the Lord and help others to come to know him. I was inspired reading um, some of the biography of Blessed Carlo Acutis, a young 15-year-old Italian boy who died of um, leukemia and He's in the process of canonization because he said he, he lived such a holy life. He, wanted, he said his whole goal in life was to stay close to Jesus. And when we stay close to Jesus, we realize that this life isn't about us. It's about him. And I want to give everything I have for him. And so, you know, here I was. I, I wanted to be a baseball player, and I gave up my career in baseball. After my playing career was done, I wanted to be general manager of the Cubs or White Sox. And when this call to priesthood came, I thought, gosh, can I be happy giving all this up? And so, honestly, uh, initially, I, I, didn't, I didn't give uh, uh, <laughs> uh, joyfully. It says, each must do as already determined without sadness or compulsion. I probably felt sadness and compulsion going to seminary. But almost as soon as I got there, I felt this joy in my heart. And I realized, this is what God wants me to do. And laying down my life literally on the cathedral floor on June 1st, 20, uh, 2001, I felt joy and, it, and it's, it has stayed with me. Have there been bad days? Sure. But there's just this joy of giving everything away for the Lord. And then, of course, you know, in 2013, I became chaplain for the Cubs. God has brought me back into, into baseball um, just in ways that I never thought possible. And in 2016, the year the Cubs won the World Series, I was at spring training for a few days. Uh, Joe Madden allowed me to practice with the team. I'm in the outfield talking with um, Kyle Hendricks, one of the pitchers. And as we're talking, these tears are flowing down my face. And I, my first thought was, there's no crying in baseball. But then my next thought was, God, you are amazing. It was like God was saying, this was your dream to be a major league baseball player. But now you're living my dream as a priest. You get to do it in the major leagues. Keep giving it away. Keep pouring yourself out. Keep recognizing what I've already given you and give it away. And that's, that's my kind of my motto in life. Whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. So I want, I want to encourage you uh, today to think about what are the gifts that God has given me? And how am I using these gifts and talents for his glory in the gospel, in Matthew chapter 6, we, it's a gospel that we read on, on Ash Wednesday. He talks about almsgiving, prayer, and fasting, to not do this so that other people see you, but to do it willingly out of a heart that wants to grow closer to the Lord and wants to, uh, who desires holiness and to bring others to the Lord as well. And so, do you sow bountifully or... Do you sow sparingly? What you give is what you get. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for the gift of our lives, our, all of our time, talent, treasure, everything that we have that comes from you. Help us to sow bountifully. Help us to give our lives away. As you tell us, if you want to save your life, give it away. We trust you, Lord. We trust that in serving you and loving you and loving your people, we cannot go wrong. 
We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. My good friend, Father Dennis, always says, we can't outdo God in generosity, but I dare you to try. Have a blessed day, and we'll see you tomorrow.